happy Sunday everyone and welcome to my vlog for the week of January 30th. I had to skip the week of January 23rd because I spent my entire week taking care of my two younger kids who were both sick and by midweek I had got what they had and the rest of the week was just washed out and I produced nothing, I had nothing to share and I preferred to take rest rather than come and talk about nothing. Um, but thankfully um, this last week has been better and the children are doing better, I am feeling better, not fully clear but you know it takes time to get rid of cold especially when it's like one degree outside and super windy. So weather has been tough but we have had sunny days which I like um, but I also like when it rains right after the snow because it melts the snow away. So yeah, lots of weather happening all around and yeah, all of those things. Um, so, okay, so what I want to show, this is, this is nothing new to the world, but I got this item uh, uh, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, right in the beginning of the new year. And this is a flameless candle warmer. I got it, I believe, at, yeah, at Michael's. And what I like is, you know, when I am in front of the candle, it's great. But sometimes I tend to forget that I have left my candle lit. So this kind of warms the candle up evenly. Like I have used um, candles in glass jars. So that has worked really well. It heats up the wax evenly. It lets out fragrance and it's lovely. It's like having a candle without the smoke. And that's the whole point of it. So I got this. It was very inexpensive. It was less than ten dollars, and I think it was something I am going to hopefully be able to use for a long time. So that's my favorite find, like of January. Um, other than that, there is so much. I feel once I uh, miss blog uh, vlogging for a week or so, I kind of get a little scattered in terms of how I want to share what it is I have to share. So this one, this one's my planner, like I believe I have showed it before. And this is my January. And this was the spread. It was not too hard to do. I think I need to move my camera a bit this way so it's easier to see what I'm trying to show. Okay, I think, yeah, I'm in the frame right now. Okay, good. So this is the spread I liked. It's a super simple spread, just what I, um, my briefest to-do list, you know. And after that, I did this. And I'm just putting in information that is still coming in for January, filling it in. But I, I found that very gratifying. And then this is for February. Again, this is the spread. And I'm continuing the same theme of some like at the end of the month, what are the mm, things that I am tracking? And I have to say I am very happy that this is how much uh, like I used up most days, not used up. I Oh, okay. How do you put this? I was creative in some way for most of the days. I, barring four days of the month, I can't recall if I did nothing on the 31st or if I just hadn't marked it off. Okay, even if we mark that off, there were just three days when I was sick when I couldn't do. So I would think that was a pretty good um, month in terms of creative practices. And yeah, it was not like I was doing extensive work every single day for hours. No, I set the bar lower 
like if I get the goal is to come and be creative in some way um, preferably in you know drawing painting whatever it is and just that maybe a little art journaling maybe just a little bit of this or that something and I, I would you know if I'm not upset that I didn't uh, get to work every day. I accommodated for life and I still am satisfied with whatever practice I did. So that being that, um, and I have gotten some of my son's uh, senior pictures at this point and I am looking for the, you know, those gold uh, frames like old-fashioned gold frames I have a selection of those at home that I use for the pictures and I think I need to get some more of that so that would be something I might do today after I do groceries um, and what else uh, I'm preparing for a special project and you know when when a project is out in the world what the world sees versus the groundwork that happens behind the scenes this is part of that groundwork and um, this is very traditional uh, like you know indian designs but um, i like it i like the way it turned out sometimes my designs get lopsided especially decorative things but this one i am I, it's not perfect and i can't say that i can't see the mistakes but Whatever it is, I am kind of happy and it, it took a long time to do it because I was doing it with um, white paint and a brush. So that took some time. Had I done it with a pen, maybe it would have moved faster. But some things, pens, just some kind of um, effect you can never get with a pen, really, that you can get with a brush. And they are for different purposes, hence the difference. But this was done with a paintbrush and I like it. I like it despite its imperfections. So that, more on that as, you know, as I'm free to share. And then, um, ooh, my daughter like loves these mini puppets that I make. And, you know, this one is a... Um, Oh, what do you call this thing? Scarecrow. And he has, he can dance, he can do a lot of things. So my youngest gets a kick out of it. So I actually ran out of bread. So I bought a whole bunch. Like I think there are 500 mini brads in here. And I, it's just something we might do together because she likes to draw. This is her ninja and while it's not a puppet this has many possibilities it can be made into a puppet and i think she would love using these brads of course i'm going to poke the holes for her uh, but that would be something and this is uh this there was honey in this pot it, i got it as a christmas gift and so my brads now sit in my cleaned up glass honey pot and this was the one I did for Christmas and I love that he drums but yeah that's the idea uh, so maybe you are gonna see more of our little puppet thingies down the line and what else have I done uh, my daughter and I are taking a drawing lesson it's a four-part series of drawing lessons for beginners we are taking it together and it has been a great reminder to not be limited by the image a word brings to the mind, but to follow the actual lines and shapes of something. And that, that is often hard to do. So the teacher, he, would, he didn't give us uh, the name of the object. He just told us, okay, you know what, draw uh he gave us uh showed us an image a shape and told us to copy it and once we did that he gave feedback like you know you need to lower that end or you need to extend that 
whatever everybody's thing was. And eventually that shape, he showed the transition as to if we start with that shape, what can be made out of that shape. And it was just a trapezoid which we didn't expect could be made into an eye. See, I am not formally trained in drawing painting or anything. I'm self-taught. So there are many things I do not trick, like tricks uh, of the trade that I don't know. So these beginner classes are very fun for me to learn and to see and for my daughter to also see them and to do something together. So now, what else have I got? Is there anything else I need to say this week? My throat is drying up and I'm still kind of still recovering from the cold. So I think that's all I've got to say this week. And hopefully I will see you next week. Until then, bye.